Welcome to Moo Math. Today we're going to look at equations with rational coefficients. So we're solving an equation that has a fraction in it. So we've got x divided by negative 3 is equal to 6. I'm actually going to rewrite this as negative 1 third. I'm just going to bring this fraction in front of my variable. x is equal to 6. So you can see it as a fraction. Okay, now to clear a fraction, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. And anytime you want to have a negative, you want to multiply by that negative so it will clear it out. So I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of negative one third, which is negative three over one. Now, if I do that to one side, I have to multiply the other side by negative three over one. Well, I don't really need to write the negative three over one because this is also just a whole number. So I can just multiply 6 times negative 3 over here to get my negative 18. Now what happens when you multiply by the reciprocal? You're going to cancel the negatives out because two negatives make a positive. Then you're going to multiply the top together so I get 3, the bottom together so I get 3. So anytime you have a 3 over 3, that's just 1, which is what you're trying to get. So x is equal to negative 18. Now let's look at a second example. This time I don't have to pull the fraction out in front because it's already written in front. This x can be next to it or the x could be on top. But right in this example, the x is right next to it. Now I need to clear my fraction out in front of x. So I'm gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So I'm gonna multiply both sides by seven over two. And since this is negative, I need to multiply by a negative to create a positive. I'm going to multiply this side by negative 7 over 2. Now this time I need to write a 1 under my 6 so I have a fraction. Now let's go back to the left side and multiply those together. So negative 7 times negative 2 is 14. 2 times 7 is 14 x. That all just cancels out to just 1 x or just x. Now on the other side I'm going to multiply the top together. So 6 times negative 7 is negative 42. 1 times 2 is 2. Now this is a division problem and I can simplify that. Negative 42 divided by 2 is negative 21. So x is negative 21. Now let's check this last one. Okay, we have negative 5 is equal to negative x over 6. Now this is different. My x is now on the right side but I treat it exactly the same. So I'm gonna pull my fraction out. So I'm gonna rewrite this as negative five is equal to negative one sixth x. Now you know the drill. What we do is we multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction because we're trying to get the x by itself. So even though it's on the right side, we still treat it the same. So I'm gonna multiply by negative six over one and I'm going to multiply this negative 5 by negative 6 over 1. Now when I clean this left side up, negative 6 times negative 5 is 30 over 1 or just 30. On the left side, negative times a negative is a positive. Multiply the top together, 6. Multiply the bottom together, 6. And I still have my x I'm bringing down. So 6 over 6, anything over itself is 1. So I just get x is 30. So there you go. That is how you handle equations with rational exponents. And in this case, all three of these were negative, negative coefficients.